Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a video here in Minecraft. I haven't done a video in I think like three or four weeks. It's uh, It's been a while. My PVR was a little dusty. Had to dust that off, find my hard drive, wherever it was. But yeah, I'm going to make a video. This is probably my favorite thing I've built in Minecraft. It's actually pretty cool. It took a while to build though, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show it now. Alright, going to stock up on stuff before I get down there. Just to be on the safe side. Have my sweet orange castle crasher knight here. Gonna put on this armor just to be extra safe. Alright, put that away. Okay, I am having a comedy of errors here. There we go. Okay, down to the mines. Uh, this is a lengthy walk, but I will get down there eventually. For this build, I went all the way down to bedrock just to be safe so that I didn't blow up anything in my overworld. Alright, we are getting close. Getting closer. I am going to turn on invisibility before I get in there. Just so I don't get absolutely murdered. Uh, let's see, there we go. Invisible. Okay, it is really dark in here. Uh, why is it so dark? What is going on down here? Uh, Alright, I'm kind of confused now. It's, it's a lot darker than it used to be. Okay, so it has nothing to do with invisibility. Uh, Alright. I am kind of confused right now. I don't understand what's happening. Alright, so that was a little bit of a setback. Apparently I had bedrock fog turned on, which I didn't see in creative mode, which is uh, the mode that I use to create all this down here. So apparently when you switch to survival, it adds bedrock fog. I don't, I don't really understand why it's a difference between creative and survival, but anyway, I'm back. I turned bedrock fog off, and now I'm going to show what I've built. Well, bam! I built my own little personal nether down here. Probably took around seven eight hours, so I would like to thank the uh, Rooster Teeth and Internet Box podcast for keeping me very entertained while doing this, or else I'd probably go crazy. It was a lot of exploding and a lot of placing blocks, but finally did it. I have invisibility turned on so that everything won't attack me, and actually if the ghast had the ability to shoot me right now, he'd blow up the floor, revealing the cobblestone underneath it. So that would kind of ruin the illusion of having a little nether down here. But yeah, I replaced everything with uh, netherrack, glowstone, and soul sand. And not only did I create this room in netherrack and soul sand and all that good stuff, but all the tunnels, like you see out there, all of the tunnels leading to other rooms, I filled with netherrack as well to keep the illusion alive. And then there's the nether portal over here, which is how you get inside, and probably one of my favorite parts of this whole get up here, is you walk through it, and it looks like as if you're going into the nether without having to wait and all that good stuff. See, real world on this side? Nether on this side. Well, my personal nether. The real nether is in here. In, uh, in this nether right here. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh my god, no! <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> what the hell is that? As soon as I get out of the nether, I just walk right into lava. What the hell, why is there lava that close to the nether portal? I'll have to go investigate see what's down here. That's just ridiculous. Alright, okay. Come in from a different angle and I can see how treacherous this room is. Good <laughs> lord, look at this. Oh my god, there's nothing but lava on one side and then just a giant wall of netherrack on the other. Ugh, is there any way out of here? Nope, guess not. Wow, this is probably the worst nether spawn I've seen so far. Good lord. Wow, this is actually smaller than the little personal nether I built. Yeah, uh... Phew. Walks me right out into lava. Good God. If I would have walked in the other direction, completely fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so back in my little personal nether over here. As you can see, there are spiders and stuff walking around. I left those mobs in here just to show... Okay, well, he's coming after me. Good Lord. Alright, well, I'm getting attacked by a spider. I left those in there just to show that this is, in fact, not the real nether. I would have a bucket of water around, but I kind of didn't want water. It would ruin the whole feel of the nether. Alright, now I've got a creeper and a spider on me. I'm gonna try to throw him into the lava. Okay, never mind. He's going right down and exploding. Get out of my face. I'm gonna try to knock him into the lava. Alright, that didn't work. Try to knock this guy into the lava. Alright, I'm being murdered. I think something behind me is attacking me. Oh, that's a zombie. Flaming zombie, too. Alright, so I'm about to die. Good lord. Yeah, so, uh, alright, dead there. So yeah, that's my little personal nether, my first thanks to do that I've made, and I might do some more of these. I have some other builds to show off. Alright, I will see you next time, whenever my next video is going to come out. Not exactly sure yet.